Okay, uh, let's take a tour of the interior. We'll start out with the door jams. Beautiful condition. Again, all original weather stripping. All supple. No dirt in this truck. Not allowed. That is the switch between the, the transfer tank that was in the bed which is no longer there, so this is um, inoperable, but better to leave it than to take it out and have a hole in the floor. That looks kind of cool. There's the factory uh, tank selector on the dash, which works. It was between both tanks. They both read correctly. They both work. Yeah, I'm this interior, I mean the condition is just it doesn't really compute <laughs> that this thing can be 45 years old and look this way, but here we are. Virtually nowhere on anything. Steering wheel, nowhere. Where your hand would rest. There's a little piece of the applique missing off the edge of that horn button. Original carpet. Being a Ranger XLT you know, in the later 70s, this thing is about as plush of a pickup truck as you could get. I mean, look at that deep pile shag. You better like blue. I personally love it. It's a striking interior, especially with all that lovely faux wood grain, burl wood. I really like the contrast. The, uh, the rest of the cab is all gloss paint. Then you move to the dash and it's like a nice satin finish on the dashboard. Dash pad is mint. No fading, no cracks, no warpage, nothing. This is also that nice satin blue all along the back of the dash. Also perfect. Just everywhere you look, I mean. Take a 
a look at that headliner bow. No pitting. Headliner has a perforated kind of a, it's like faux perforated. Those aren't actually holes. They're just part of the design. Headliner is also I mean, I shouldn't even say is also. Everything in this interior is just perfect. Darn near. Uh, a second, take a look behind the seat here. That's the box for the eight track player. <laughs> Seat belt doesn't even look like it's ever been touched by human hands. Uh -oh, little dust. Not allowed. For a tractor, I mean, look at the foam. The foam is intact, supple, it's not degrading, it's not falling apart. Again, headliner bow. felt in that rear window. Driver's door panel. Virtually no wear. No scuffing or marking around the window crank area. Map pocket. Looks like it got used on this side. All the instrumentation looks brand new. Needles are all bright. Lenses bright and clear. Everything works, all the gauges work. No wear. Old trailer brake. Nowhere on the shifter. Eight track player. I haven't tried an eight track in it, but the radio does work. All the climate control works perfectly. Um, air conditioning blows cold, heater blows hot, works on all positions. Take a stroll around to the passenger side. Sorry about the leaf blower. Same story over here. There's some little spots. It's not rust, it's more like a little bit of body shot, like undercoating, some kind of overspray. Tiny bit of corrosion at that seam.
This is all just kind of a little bit of residual dirt in that seam sealer. Again, original carpet. Everything under dash. I mean, the interior is just a time capsule. It just doesn't look like it aged. No wear on the passenger side. This door panel is about as perfect as they can come. Map pocket, unused over here. See, it's nice and taut. old receipt from 1987 that's included with the truck never smoked in that lighter does not look like it's ever used Uh, under dash courtesy lights work. Obviously, the dome light works. Everything functions. Like I said, a AC. Uh, this truck is equipped with cruise control that also functions perfectly. All the belts in their casing, perfect. Casings aren't cracked degrading they're still pliable as well it's pretty incredible I'll take her for a drive now